In this video, we're going to build a simple yet very effective electified perimeter security array inside a privacy fence. This design is going to keep intruders out of your yard and it's going to keep animals from digging under your fence. So, it keeps critters in and out. If you look closely at the photo, there's a wire running along the bottom of the fence. This accomplishes two things. First, it keeps intruders from kicking in a couple of boards to get through your fence. Second, it keeps animals from digging under the fence. In our experience, a dog only needs to get shocked once, twice at the most, and it stays well away. And that's the end of the digging. Now what DH did here is great for keeping your dog from digging out. If, however, I wanted to keep a dog from digging in from the other side, like the neighbor's dog, I'd either put these insulators down closer to the ground, or I'd move them out from the fence three or four inches, maybe put them on a stake with an insulator on top of there. A fence hawk is an important component of this system. If they kick in the boards, they might not get a shock because the wood will insulate them. But by shorting, breaking, cutting, or grounding that wire, they're going to trip your alarm. Near the top of the fence, we run another electrified wire. When an intruder grabs onto the fence to jump over it, the normal mode of entry, they get a shock that knocks them right back and right off the fence, at which point they're going to move on and find an easier target. Now, look close at the top of the fence. You'll see a third wire stapled to the top. This is a grounded wire. It's important because an intruder antennas or rubber shoes could be well enough insulated that they don't get much of a shock. Or, if a shorter person jumps and grabs the top of the fence to climb over, they're not grounded at all. And the wood of the fence is a pretty good insulator. By having that wire across the top of the fence, you ensure that they're really well grounded. And they're definitely going to feel the shock when they grab these two wires and the high voltage pulse hits them. The design is simple and effective. Typically, you can do the entire installation on one weekend. Now, let's look at how you hook up the electrical part of this. I want to thank DH of Dover, Delaware for the next few photos. He sent us these with a thank you letter about how it took him only 20 minutes to do the installation. In the first photo, we see the most basic of setups, a 9500 volt fence energizer running off a small battery. The battery is connected to a smart charger. We recommend 12 volt energizers versus 110 or 220 because in a power failure, that small battery will run the system for up to three days. Yep, three days. Use a larger battery and you can power the system this way for a month. With a plug-in system, your defense goes down when the power goes out. Now, in this photo, DH has connected his siren and the relay required to trigger it. While it looks like a, well, it looks like a rat's nest of wires, DH is just hooking it up to see it work. Here he's connected a second relay and wired it to his strobe light, which he's going to use as an alert if the weed alert or low voltage warning goes off. As he said in his letter, it'll take him the rest of the day to mount the siren outside, run the wires to it, mount the box and the strobe on the wall, and generally pretty things up. <laughs> I use his photos because they're a good example of how simple it is to put up a fence hawk perimeter security array. To make installation easier, Intelligent Fencing Systems offers kits. You can get the parts kit that DH did, or you can get the same kit fully assembled in a lockable, weatherproof enclosure. If you already have an alarm system for your house, the fence hawk and weed alert can be wired into your existing control panel by your alarm company. To simplify that kind of an installation, one where you already have an alarm panel, these two kits contain all of the basic components you'll need. For a checklist and sample materials list to build this project yourself, visit this link. And as always, our engineering staff is available to answer your questions, to provide technical support, and is more than happy to help you design a system, provide site drawings, a parts list, a materials list, all that it takes to make your installation easy to build and extremely effective. If you go to our contact page, there's lots of ways to get in touch with us. Don't hesitate to email us photos if you need help with something. In our next video, we're going to build an 8-foot perimeter security array attached to a chain link fence, creating a virtually impenetrable security barrier.